Hello crafty friends, welcome to today's clean and simple card making video. Today I have four dies, four stitched rectangle panels cut from smooth white cardstock, four card blanks, four sentiments that I'm going to cut from black card, and four stacks of a trio of Distress Oxides. To get going, I'm going to cut some strips out of smooth white card. I've got straight stitched strips, some wide rickrack, some scalloped and some narrow rickrack. So my bits are cut now and I'm going to use my finger daubers to add my Distress Oxides onto my strips. So this one is Abandoned Coral. This next one is Saltwater Taffy. And this one is Sponge Sugar. For my narrow rickrack, I've got Spice Marmalade, Wild Honey and Dried Marigold. For my scallops, I've got peacock feathers, salvage patina and speckled egg. And for my wide rickrack, I have chip sapphire, faded jeans and stormy sky. To add a little bit of sparkle and shine to my strips here, I've got this DIY shimmer spray. It's made with Cosmic Shimmer Pixie Powder White Pearl Mixer and Water. I do have a video on how to make your own DIY shimmer spray, so I will leave a link to that up in the eye and down in the video description. So I've given it a good shake. I'm just going to spritz it from quite high up. There'll be some larger blobs and some delicate shimmer. I'm going to carefully, so as not to blow these across my craft room, dry them with my hairdryer. While those finish drying, I'm going to die cut my sentiments from black cardstock. But before I do that, I'm going to add some clear packing tape. This will just make my sentiments glossy. Just slip off the excess. We'll put my sentiments on here and hold them in place with some washi. And then I'll run them through my die cut machine. I've arranged them on here so I've avoided the seam where I put the two bits of packing tape. Right, I've got my sentiments cut, my panels ready and my strips all nice and dry. I put some high tack, very sticky glue there and I'm using that because I want my bits to stay where I put them while they dry. So I'm carefully dipping my sentiment in there. I'm going to pop it on here to remove any excess. So any splurging out the side happens on the mat, not on my card. And I'm using my T-square ruler to put that about there, getting it nice and straight. Got some non-stick paper here I can press that down with. And now I've got the U, the other part of the sentiment, I'm doing the same thing. I'll just offset that underneath like that. And now for my zigzags, I'm going to chop them like that. And then take the finished ends and add those nearest to the sentiment. And by the finished ends, I mean the ends of the die cut, not the scissors cut. That way you get the stitching all the way around. Then we'll do the other end again with the die cut end towards the middle. I want to get this point here lined up with this point here so it's as if this is continuous and 
And now I'm going to slip off the overhang and see what it looks like. Right, I like that. I might fill this gap with some Nouveau drops, I think, or some faux enamel dots. But what I'm going to do off camera is construct the rest because you don't need to see that process, but I'll show you what they look like in a minute. So here are my four cards. As I said before, I think this one needs a few Nouveau drops or something just in this gap. And then a couple up here, I think. I don't think these need Nouveau drops, but I'll just explain what I did with them. This one, I put the hello centrally, but in the lower half. So that's on about a third of the way up the card. And instead of putting the same strip above and below, I shuffled them along one. So I've got the abandoned coral and then the saltwater taffy and then the sponge sugar. But then I've got sponge sugar abandoned coral and saltwater taffy so it's just a little bit of difference there with the happy birthday i put it in the top right hand corner so that's on the third down and a third across and again, I shuffled the stripes around. So the bottom ones I did spice marmalade, wild honey, dried marigold. And then I did the reverse up there, dried marigold, wild honey and spiced marmalade. Again, just for a bit of interest and variation. And for this one, I decided to go landscape because I felt the scallops looked best in a landscape horizontal version rather than a, say, vertical. So I did the darkest at the top, then the middle, then the bottom, peacock feathers, salvage patina, speckled egg with the with love bang in the middle. If you wanted to recreate these cards, you don't necessarily need the same dies that I've got. You could just stick with strips and cut them with your trimmer, or you might have other dies that you can adapt. And of course you can use any sentiment dies you've got or even stamp the sentiment. And you don't have to color the strips that you cut. You could use backgrounds, mixed media pieces that you've already got in your stash, or pattern paper even, or solid cardstock. Solid cardstock would work really well. You could do the shimmer spray or some splattering on top to introduce some shimmer and variation. There's loads of ways that you could adapt this kind of design to whatever you have in your stash. If you do that, do come along to my Facebook group. I'll leave a link in the video description below. Just click more. And if you've enjoyed today's video and it's given you an idea or two, do let me know in the comments, like, subscribe, ring the notification bell, you know the drill, and I'll see you back here very soon. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.